What's up guys, it's your boy Gang and welcome back to another ARC video. Uh, as you know previously, we... Alright, let me clear these guys out first. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. They're still coming. Okay. Alright. Alright. We're dead. They're dead. They're dead. Okay. Yep. So like I was saying, we're on the hunt for um, cementing paste. So I, you know, decided to carry the, the frog down here with the meg with the Megatherium as like his bodyguard or whatever. And um, did a couple runs and it was good. Had no issues, cleared the caves, cleared the cave and then we ended up coming down here quite a few times without any response. The last go we had, everything respawned while I was in the cave. So... While I was trying to deploy the Megatherium, uh, my dude died. My frog died. Like So we don't have the frog anymore. And all of this is because we're still hunting for the Megatherium saddle, which we still have not gotten yet. We've gotten every other saddle you can think of. Uh, Mosa, we've gotten, uh, I think it said, um, what's that called? A... Uh, um, Plesia sore, I believe. No, Mosa sore. Then um, we also got a a Basilosaur saddle, which that's useful. Um, we also got Deodon saddle. We also got a Quetzal saddle, but no Megatherium saddle. Not one Megatherium saddle at this point. All of those were blueprints, blueprints by the way, but not one Megatherium saddle. So. I think this is going to be my last run through this cave and I'm actually super annoyed because my dude died. That really, that really annoyed me. I won't tell you any lie because it was like, it was my mistake. I didn't, I didn't get the, get this dude out quickly enough to defend it. The space that we were in was too small so he couldn't get deployed and when I did deploy him, he ended up down in a ditch and wasn't able to help so we literally frog literally died at the entrance of the cave basically up you know i'll show you where when we get out of here but let me just run through this cave once more see if i can actually avenge his death with getting actual the saddle that we actually came down here for the how many times we've been down here so yeah let's just clear these dudes out all right that's done that's that Let's get this and get out of here. Is it? It's not a freaking Megatherium. It's an Allosaur saddle. I'm annoyed. I am super annoyed. Let's just get out. Alright, so because I was super annoyed about the frag I just lost, I came back out here to hunt for one. And I found... Where is it? Where is, There we go. It's this one right here. Come on, dude. Show your head, please. Over there. Where are you? Come on, bro. There. 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 That's a level 130. I'm going to take that. So, one of the things I've noticed is that we can actually do lamps and lamp posts. So, I'm going to craft up a few of these because the base is actually dark. That's why I don't really record at night. Okay. That is very bright. I don't think I need any more for this area. All right, so if you've been with me long enough in the series, you know I've been waiting a very long time to find a high enough level Baryonyx. And I just found one. It's a level 120. So I'm going to go ahead and tame him. How did that miss? Bro, is he still running or is he, is he down? I think he's down. Unconscious Baryonyx. Um, yeah, let me go grab that kibble. And I'll be right back. And I'm going to whistle passive. Get on this dude here. Jump in the water here. And... F what is happening? What is happening? Oh, no. Really, bro? Oh, they're going to mess my freaking team up. Freaking hate piranhas. <sighs> Damn. 
Did he die? I don't think he did. Can I access his inventory from here is the question. I didn't want to have to drop down. All right, let's get this done quickly. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Basic. I have too much stuff in my inventory. Oh, oh, and he is on 179. So he gained 59 levels. That That's about accurate. Oh, oh, oh. Alrighty then. So we have our pair of berries. And we have our pair of froggies. What level are you again? Uh, I can't see. 134, 194. Um, I did put some levels, I believe, into, you know, whichever one of them. But we're going to tame them up and... I'm not tame them up, but I already have them tamed. Alright, guys, so we have... Alright, guys, so we have our pair of baryonyxes. If that's how it's pluralized. And our beasle buffers. So we're going to breed both sets. Uh, we're going to need to prep. We need to get... Everything that they need for comfort food, uh, just in case they do need something specific or something out of the norm. So, yeah, let's let's jump into that. All right, so basically what the list is going to be is probably going to be like basic kibble, exceptional, regular, simple, superior. Then other food possibilities, um, um, uh, my berries, azle berries, cooked fish meat, um, cooked meat, cooked meat jerky, uh, cooked prime fish meat. Cook prime meat and major berries, prime meat jerky, tinta berries, stuff like that is possibly what the dine, the um the babies will take to imprint. So before we get anything else done, let's go make some kibbles and kibble and stuff like that. So this is drop number six. We're going for the yellow and the white drops. I mean yellow and the red drops. Because oh we got it. We got it. We don't I don't have to search anymore. We got the megatherium saddle. That's it. That's, that's what I've been hunting for since before I did the Broodmother the first time and I actually found it now. So for the record, it's yellow drops, red drops that have the Megatherium saddle in there. So let's take a quick peek at what the saddle actually, the, the blueprint actually takes to, to make it. All right, so Megatherium, armor is 37, which I think should be fine. Alright, so that's not too bad. Alright, so I think we are have accomplished what we needed to, and I think it's about time we go pay that broodmother another visit. Alright, so coming up on loot crate number seven. I I think I got too excited for that Megatherium saddle. And I think it needs to be at least 70 armor. The one I just got was only 37 or something like that. So it needs to be like 70 plus armor is what it needs to be. So I'm gonna just Continue hitting the drops, see if I can find anything better. And if I can't, then we'll just go ahead and do the, the boss fight with what we have. So let's see what this one here has to offer. All right, loot drop number eight. And this one has a ring around it, and it's a yellow one. So hopefully we get a higher level Megatherium Saddle or something in there. You know, let's see how it goes. Carpus such as I'd like. Like, who even uses that saddle? Like, who even uses that dino? On to the next one. Alright, so I found another, um, another yellow drop with a ring around it. I hope this one has something better than a Carpus Sutra saddle, because, yeah, who even, yeah, that's not, that. yeah, it's not something that we tame. And not something that we use in any capacity, especially not for any boss battles or anything like that. So let's go hit this one. I think this one had a ring around it, like I said. It looked like it did from a distance. Maybe it does not. Let's see. Yep, it does. Let's see what bad stuff is around it and kill them first. All right, so that should be it now. Let's go see what's inside of this trap. Please don't die. Alrighty, so we have a a Rainier saddle. Like who who? Alright. 
On to the next one. All right, so I found another yellow drop. You know, it goes same. You know, different location, same remedy. Hopefully we... Oh, this one has a ring around it too, as well. It's like the, the third one, which is crazy. I don't think I've seen so many yellow drops, much less ones with rings around it, you know, come down so quickly within a, a short span of time. Hopefully I don't die falling off. Okay, that was kind of scary. All right, so that is a ankylosad. saddle. That's not bad, but still not what we're looking for. All right, keeping the hunt going. All right, so after quite some time, I was actually going to sign off a bit because I wasn't finding any more drops. Um, this red drop started coming down, so I'm going to tidy up the area a bit because there are a bunch of saber toots around. I saw, oh, there we go. There's the other one. A cool looking one that was a higher level to oh i shouldn't have killed that one but yeah um let's see what this drop has to offer and if it doesn't have the saddle that we need i think that's gonna <laughs> nothing of any use all right so i think that's gonna be it for the night all right so after all of that the loop drops and whatever i actually got a blueprint off camera because OBS decided to update and would not record my videos. So, you know, I had to do some stuff with the with my um, computer that I was using to capture the screen or whatever. And we, we finally got a Mega Theorem saddle. So it's a 69 armor, which is, I guess it should be okay. Cement and paste is 1300, 5 by 1700, hide is 4000, and metal is 730. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to craft it or not. Something I need to test out right now, as a matter of fact. Um, but in any event, if we can actually craft it, we're going to need... I'm going to do a, like 20 of them. And um, I'm going to see if I can... If I can find a Uteranus or two... I mean, like a breeding pair, we can breed them. Have a strong Ute. Or I might just go out and try finding myself a high-level male Rex and... Breed with these two girls right here and have, I guess, two of those in there. Two Rexes as well in there. So that's going to be a tall task. So coming up for the next episode, I know I'm supposed to be doing a breeding episode. So next episode, that's what, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be hunting for a high-level Rex, male, and um, as well as two high-level Uteranis, male and female, for breeding. And maybe we'll just turn that episode into a complete entire episode on breeding where we'll be breed the frogs, we'll breed the berries, we'll breed the rexes, and if we do get the uties, we'll breed them. In any case, the episode after that, we're going back for the broodmother. We're going to take them down. So him, her, it down, whichever way you want to word it. So that's basically it for this episode, guys. If you guys did like the video, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to stay up to date with us going on, please go ahead and subscribe. If you guys want to be notified every single time I post a video, hit the bell beside the subscribe button. If you have any tips, comments, suggestions, please leave them below. I do hope you're enjoying the series. Um, as the playthrough progresses, there's going to be, you know, changes based on my um, skills, you know, what I'm learning and all of that stuff. And if there are any changes within the game itself. So hopefully we can get through the Broodmother and quickly start progressing to the other bosses which is um it's gonna be the megapithecus next after the brood mother then we're gonna go for i think it's the i think it's the manticore and then after that go for the main boss and see if we can ascend and hit scorched earth and um i know scorched earth is gonna be a major challenge so let's just see how the next few episodes go hopefully we defeat the brood mother and we can get some tech ingrams and start progressing on a better looking base and better um, equipment and stuff like that. Again, thank you guys for watching.